Well, goddamn, she got a bag of bacon bits. This bitch. This bitch. She got a bag the of triple bees bag of bacon bits. Bro, you ever fuck with that crazy frog song? Scream, bam, bam, bing, bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm talking about? No. Nope. You, you, out of all people, you are literally wearing my merch that's not out yet, but it's going to be that color. Yep. Um, you don't know Crazy Frog? If you Scream, play bing, bing, bang, bang, if sing, you play bing, bing, bang, bang. He's like a... Hold on, let me find it. Can we pull it up somewhere? We're crazy doing. Frog. What is crazy it? Frog is a crazy legendary generation. He's an AR-65. What was song. Fun. I mean, just all you got to do is go to Spotify. He probably got racks of numbers. Crazy. Is it this shit? Hold up. I'm oh, about he... to get it. Are you going to get it right now? <laughs> You've never heard this? Yo, this is Mortal Kombat. Wait for it. We're getting demonetized immediately. <laughs> Copyright infringement. Ready? Hey. Screen, screen. Oh, shit. You've never heard this? No, I love it. Bro, look at this motherfucker. Look at this guy in the front. He got a Hawaiian shirt and his dickless dick out. Is that a who? Is that a person? It's a frog. Who the fuck is crazy frog? He's a crazy frog. I understand that. He looks like a Trader Joe's employee off the fucking meds, dog. <laughs> Yo, he looked like he got the Kalanapin eyes, boy. Bow, bow, but he, bow, bow, you, know bow, bow. you know what? I appreciate the guy. He's a crazy frog, but he's still not insane enough to play his music out loud. He has headphones on like a normal fucking person. Because if he was playing this music out loud, he would generally be insane. Like the people that just play their music like on a bus. Sir, it's not that good. We've heard, sir. we've heard that song before. What the fuck are you doing? You're listening sir? to a song from 2007. Smack that all on the floor. We've heard Smack that song. Yeah. It's a great song. I'm a big fan of it. But you know what we were talking about earlier? Who is that, Akon? Um, how? <laughs> yeah, but bing ba ba Dude, how do auctioneers have sex? Yeah, I'm gonna can I can I get a uh, on top? Can I get a doggy? Oh, can I get a? Uh, Camity mouth hole. Are you mad? Yes, you are. I'm gonna be sleeping on the couch. I'm not gonna be sleeping in a super, 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 so <laughs> this, this is a bunch of shit, but this is, this is what's going to, this is what this episode started up. Uh, so who's this crazy frog guy? I really need to know. It's ringtones, wasn't it? He used to be ringtones. He probably yeah. racked up. Right. He's probably in the island Guys, of Barbados like, right now doing he's, coke off of fucking Bitcoin. Just a Bitcoin? It's a, <laughs> yeah, Bitcoin's the, electronic. It's not, oh, the first Bitcoin? But he got one made for sure. If you have a bunch of Bitcoin, can you call Bitcoin? Like, let me get a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Just a coin? You know what I mean? Who's Bitcoin? That's me, guys. Who the uh, fuck is Bitcoin? I'm gonna need a coin. Is well, it's Bitt like when YouTube Bit is when, Bitt his first name last well, name. Well, when coin? YouTube, you get a hundred thousand subscribers or a million, you get a plaque. So Bitcoin can be like, you got a million dollars in Bitcoin, we'll send you Big B. Who owns Bitcoin? Me. Oh no, Bitcoin's like the, Steve the, Jobs. the type of money. No. Steve Harvey. I think Steve Harvey has a Bitcoin on the top of his head. Be weep. Uh, and it, so, <laughs> skiing it, wee wee. Dude, that's the new crazy thing. That's what I'm saying. Skinny. He would probably be thrilled to know that comparison. But Crazy Frog, he would just come on later night and he'd be like, and the ring tells of the century. Bring, bing, 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 bing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really need to get in here. Who the fuck is Crazy Frog? We is don't he know. just a, I, I like an know. animation? Or is it's it, an animation, like but I don't know who. No, it's not a real person. Oh, that's what I, in my head. It's, it's like, like a. I mean, somebody's voicing, screen, screen, whatever the fuck. Right, right, right. Bing, but the bang, beginning of that bing, is Mortal bing, Kombat. Is it? Mortal Kombat. Boom, 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 boom. Who's making Mortal money Kombat? off it then? Mortal Kombat. Well, whatever the fuck. I mean, whoever made the game Mortal Kombat. True. Do you ever play Mortal Kombat? Yeah, I used to play the arcades, pizza, pizza arcades. Hell yeah! What was better when you were a kid? God, I'll tell you one thing. That got, arcades. Uh, yeah, but bro, you, you lick one of those buttons, Rona. Oh, those are the dirtiest. People are fingering cups of ranch, slobbering it in their mouth, yes. and then just jamming the fuck out of the Mortal yeah. Kombat buttons. Yeah, you go, you go for a joystick. You're like, why is this a Kit Kat bar? Did you know how to play Mortal Kombat, or did you just smash a bunch of buttons? When I was in arcades, smash a bunch of buttons. When I was home, I knew how to play. The arcades, it, it was so loud. People just be like, dude. My dad told me one time with all with all earnestness. He said that he was really good in in what's this thing? Bing, bang, bang, bing. What's that? Forza fingering. Finger, maybe he might be good at finger. I don't Bing. know. I don't know. He got thick fingers. Oh, is that is that a good thing? What's what's good with fingering? Is it length of finger or girth of finger? I guess it's. Sort I think of it's the, the motion thing. of the ocean. Cause you got small fingers. Uh, yeah, boy. <laughs> I only finger my thumb. Oh, yo, girthy but powerful. It's like yo. a mini potato. God, damn. Fingerling potatoes. Fingerling potatoes, bruh. 
Those are so good. You, you ever cooked my, those right? You ever have an Irish potato? But they're, just, they're just a whole potato is aggressive. Like you ever go to a restaurant and they're like, and you want a big potato on the side? Yeah, <laughs> that's too much. First of all, let me ask you a question. First, why is there a sweet potato and a yam? There's no difference. Just fucking pick one. Just it's, pick one. It's a like Sarah stupid. and Sarah. It's like you in the same family. You in the same. Y'all got the same mom. Sarah. Somebody's just a little got more. Who got my money? Yams or sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes got better PR. Yams are fucking. What are we doing with yams? Who who is a yam? Okay. <laughs> but you can call like a fat ass. Oh, she got yams. That's and true. Yams. You can't be like, she got a sweet potato ass. I don't know. My ex, I used to call her a sweet potato head. She got a big ass head. Where's she now? She's dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Point being, somebody was a uh, hungry. I'm a sweet potato that ass. Um, <laughs> uh, I just feel like a, a whole ass potato as a side is so aggressive for a restaurant. And then and they never ask you if you want anything on it. They just put everything on it. <laughs> just Do so I, much dairy. Too much sour cream, sir. No one sour cream, cheese, chives. What are the chives coming to play? Bacon fucking bits. You can't taste that. I could drink bacon bits. That's so good. Yeah, bacon bits confuse the fuck out of me because they just, they just come. No, they just like at a grocery store. They just come in a bag and you're like. Eh. A bag? I you, thought they came in like a little like a like a shaker. Uh, well, there's, well, well, there's like bits? the chewy ones and there's like the the crunchy ones. What are the crunchy ones? What's a bag of bacon bits? What do you what like the moisture of them is like? They're they're like little beef jerkies. Yes, but you buy them in a bag. I've never seen a bag of bacon bits. That's so fun to say. By the way, if I, if, bag of bacon, bag not, of bacon bits. That's definitely not the craziest thing you could find. No, of course not. But, that. but that would be fun to be like, "How's your new girlfriend? Oh, dude, she got a bag of bacon bits, bro. <laughs> oh, God damn, she got a bag of bacon bits. This bitch." This bitch she got the triple of B's bag of bacon bits. That sounds like a fucking uh, <laughs> dog food commercial. Bacon bits, bacon, bacon, bacon strips, bacon strips, bacon strips. My dog fucks with those, dude. Every dog does. Yeah, does your cat like them? You fucking loser. I have a dog too. Okay, well then you're fine. <laughs> you know what cats like to eat? Their own fucking time. They don't bug anybody. Oh yeah, you know what else they like to eat? Shut up, get outside. You ain't shit. I hate cats. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of meal is that? Uh, but I'll talk. What, kind of what kind of meal is that? Huh? What What's the entree? But what I was talking about with music earlier, yep. we were talking. I don't know if you're in the room for this. We were saying, uh, you know, that song "Sexual uh, Seduction" by Snoop. Yes. It's not. That's the clean version. You know the. The dirty version? What? Sexual eruption. Sexual eruption. Doesn't that sound so, Like, I know that's the unedited version, but doesn't that sound so much more graphic? Then? Seduction. Like, like sexual seduction sounds like it's fl- it's fun. It flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 but yeah. sexual eruption, you're like... Too much, Snoopy. Chill out. Sexual eruption. Eruption? It's aggressive. What? I mean, you're like, what, 43? What is erupting? A colon? That's not a penis. Yeah, when you're 43, it's sort of, it's sort of dribbling out. <laughs> it's not erupting. Sexual aneurysm. <laughs> uh, what is an aneurysm? Aneurysm is a blood clot in the brain, which scares the fuck out of me, because you can get one anytime, any age. You can just be sitting here doing the goddamn Stiff Socks podcast, and all of a sudden... Dead. Does it make you feel better? My heart is throbbing right now. Uh, why? Too much caffeine, or yeah. you have the Rona? I think it's a mixture. Mm. You know what's funny with caffeine is like you'll yawn, or at least me personally, I will have one yawn. I'll be like, "Well, <laughs> time for another." <laughs> well, yeah, because it's not working. First of all, you know, if you're yawning, all you just your body's just being like, "Hey, bro, we it need some more oxygen." Air. We just need to go. <sighs> How many times a day do you just sit there and be like, "Let me just take a fucking breath and go." <sighs> Stuart does a podcast Hey guys You're probably stressed yeah. out You're Let's quarantining You haven't had enough time To relax right? This is Inhale good. on the count of three Hold Ready? it for seven seconds Ready? One, two, three <sighs> was, was the noise Does that help? The noise helps so When I meditate The noise helps so much Because uh, I concentrate on the noise As opposed to the noise in my brain You know what I mean? Just I feel uh, more relaxed I it, suddenly don't feel like Crazy Frog I'm doing. I'm telling you, man. I want to meditate. I don't know how. You want to meditate? I. I mean, not gonna meditate no, on no, the podcast. Now. But no, not now. But we should meditate. You know, it's kind of funny. People what? be like, I listen to this podcast to go to sleep. How? I don't know. There's if that's way, a compliment, right? Or there's a also slap way more dick. relaxing. Like if I were to put this podcast on before going to sleep, I would wake up in the middle of the night covered in my own semen, being like, <laughs> I need a pineapple upside down cake, and then just. Like I don't. There's more relaxing. There's like ASMR <laughs> podcasts out yeah. there. I just don't know if. 
This is what you need to be sleeping. Yeah, how the fuck do you sleep when I'm laughing like a fucking drunk hyena? How do you, like, that make you go to sleep? Yeah. Um, I just picture a bunch of, like, frat bros tucking each other in, like, good night, Deegan. Good night, Deegan. Good night, Brock. Good night, Riley. (laughs) Is there two... they there's just, two Deegans in a row? Deegan and a Tegan. I, I like yeah, it they better get, when they get confused was, a lot. I like it better when there's two Deegans in a row. Good night, Deegan. Good night, Deegan. Deegan. <laughs> they just talk in unison. Then they just click play on, on stiff socks. And then they shoot. And they're like, ah, oh, soothing. I think I can go to sleep with it just a bunch of times. But there's no yeah. way I can go to sleep like us just talking about how much would be like Triscuits and how much would it take you to drink a, a flesh life. Like People fall semen. asleep to random shit. Do you, do you like listen to a TV before you go to bed? No, I can't do that. I listen to uh, rainstorm sounds. I go, Alexa, play thunderstorm noises. And it goes, no problem, Michael. I also take melatonin. It's too, well, that'll do it. Uh Uh-huh. Just the noises, like the fake noises, like I know it's fake, so it doesn't do it for me. I'm like, I know you're a fraud. Right, but you should just lean into it. Of course it's a fraud. But it's like when we went to the San Diego Zoo and they had the animal sounds playing up above. Yep. I'm like, it's not thunder outside. You know what's so funny is yesterday. First of all, L.A. That's where we live. Um, there's some. It's been raining for twenty goddamn days straight. Um, it was thunderstorming outside, and I told Alexa to play thunderstorm noises. Just use the regular ones. The <laughs> the fucking ones outside, Michael. As soon as I did it, I'm like, I'm so stupid. I thought you were talking about Alexa. Like, bitch, just play outside noises. <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna have her like sync up with the weather and then like find that would be such that's a good like idea offside thing yeah um well you know what's funny is like the city ambiances they're always so cute it's like beep beep it's like that's not Mm-mm. where's the guy yelling about Jesus yeah where's the guy that's like I need a Fanta on my goddamn feet caps why what? I'll shank you with my molar teeth you got your molars out sir I did I'm a helicopter on Wednesdays. <laughs> Just on Wednesdays? That'd actually be really funny. I feel like that'd be a great video idea. It's like Just on Wednesdays? Oh, well, that too. No, we're just saying yeah. like, get the sounds of the soothing last, mm-hmm. or the sounds of the New York subway. And then it cuts to like just some guy screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or like, play play Santa Monica beach noises. And then it's just like a dude like on heroin. Somebody! <laughs> <laughs> What? But I mean, like some cities are it like my hometown, the ambiance, like when I go to my parents' house, like I'll park at night and it's just dead silent. I, I, I can't sleep. Again. You can hear the nervous. neighbors coming here. I'm like, y'all listen to stiff socks. They're, they're like, like, what? I'm they're like, like, no, we're going to sleep. <laughs> huh? uh, it's it's crazy. crazy to think that your parents still fuck. <laughs> I mean, not your specific parents. I'm just saying parents in general. Isn't that crazy? I think anybody. Like, what? No, like, do you ever just go in public and see, like, two people, like, madly in love, like, at Disneyland or something? You're mm-hmm. like, y'all be tearing it up in there. I always try to imagine it. I, 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 yeah, I just think of the surface level of it. Like, I'll just see some couple, like, somebody, you know, just somebody that, like, you know, we don't, we would never really cross paths in the day to day. I'm like, damn, y'all be tearing it up. Or not, though. Because I always look and I try to be like, all right. Are how, they? How? What is it like? Is it just like missionary and the other person's yeah. like thinking about Maury Povich's episodes <laughs> to get through it? You know what I mean? Like, what, what's what's happening? Yeah, what's happening? That is an interesting take on it. Um, I always like to. Uh, I lost my thought. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always like to. I lost my thought. <laughs> well, that's corona um, for you. No, but I, uh, yeah, I always, especially when I restaurants or whatever, oh, I'm seeing a couple of like, mm, like a boo, and they're like, like nose kissing or whatever, or like I'm looking at like Gabe and I were talking about this, like politicians, and when they're all buttoned up and like, anyways, so Corona is a one out of seven. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you like to get choked with your own belt, and there's Bro. a goat in the corner, and the goat is playing poker. It's the only way you can come, dude. I, for sure, those dudes on like Capitol Hill and like DC, Ugh. they begin the shit fucking beat up in a bdsm suit yeah. oh what i was gonna say is i remember mm-hmm. like early on in like high school i was friends with somebody who was like he ran for like class president or something yeah and all the other people were kind of in it were kind of like nerdy then i asked my friend i was like damn it's gotta be so lame he's like bro actually they were telling me some stories like they get down they be fucking no and i was like oh, oh, oh. dude you, you ever- think about all the band kids banging That's all the theater kids shit. in college Dog, like those theater kids bro I, when I lived in New York, I would run into like an NYU like theater kid, and I'm like, "Oh, this is gonna be crazy! <laughs> this is gonna be this bitch is gonna fuck me and then do a monologue from Othello." <laughs> God damn! God damn! Them octaves really spiking up when she give me that. Ooh whoop! 
But they, uh, it's but just they, funny. Like, I don't know why. Like, why wouldn't people be fucking, you know? Sure. And there's also, like, you have a bunch of people that are, that are quote unquote, like, outcasts. So they finally find a group and, like, oh, you're an outcast. I'm an outcast. Oh, let's fuck. I want to do everything that I want to do with those kids, but I can't. So let's let's do it all together as a group. Well, also, and in shit gets any crazy. group, in every group, there's the cool kid. Of course. Even in the Lego fucking group and college campuses there's a dude who runs shit you know yeah which is also a fascinating position to be in to be like the coolest whatever kid it's yeah like, you know what i mean it's yeah. also like you're, there's a coolest flute kid there's a, yeah. there's a group of six people who play the flute at usc and, and there's the cool kid in the flute group and there's one person who's jealous be like man i'm gonna fucking put a goddamn piece of candy corn in that flute one day and fuck up them jugulars <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> the one of the fucking <laughs> playing perfectly, like <laughs> sucks to be you. <laughs> Why is there a goddamn twizzle on my fucking flute? Everybody be fucking. And um, yeah, but this shit gets crazy. There was one girl that I was hooking up with, uh, NYU. She was a theater kid, and she would tell me that like four or five of them from their theater, or whatever, would just just go after her, so just get down. Yeah, like have like orgies, and I'm like, yo, you're like 21. Yeah, dog, what? It's, it's yeah, it's it's a fascinating like. In like yeah, you get like a little like illumination in like other people's lives. That's always the craziest thing too is when you think about other like there's places in the world where like there's an entire world where people are super into that you know nothing about. Like when we were yeah. in Bass Pro Shop and I was like, wow, this is like a whole world where there's millions upon millions of millions of people who love hunting and who know so much about it. Uh-huh. And I know it's such it's a foreign world to me. Right, and it's almost like uh, like the audacity when you're like, "What does this do?" I'm like, "You don't know. It's for skate shooting." You're like, <laughs> "Who's skate?" <laughs> uh, who, who's skate? I feel like that way with stand up a lot too. Like really? you, re- like you realize how obviously that's like kind of what we like. That's our lives around that comedy world, but like you don't realize how deep you are into it until you talk to somebody who's far out of it and they're like, "Yeah, I really uh, have you met Jerry Seinfeld? I, I the Kevin Hart special is really good," and you're just like. Oh, you have no idea who like Dave Attell is or like, right, Tom yeah. Segura. You have no idea. And, but that makes sense. You just, as, in this business, you're so deep into it. That's why when you get like super shop talk and you're like, yeah, <clears> and <throat> the light and you're running this and hitting right. four mics in a night, people are just like, uh-huh. I will, I will say though, podcasts are actually really helping the outside people really understand. Become comedy fans. Then, yeah. Because now I talk to some people, not even, not even like after shows, just like randomly. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, see so like, how, how are those like, you know, new tags work? I'm like, you know the word tag? Yeah. Well, it's funny when you talk to people and like, they'll ask you who your favorite comedian is, like, especially you really like, yeah. and you ask them like a special and they throw out like something like really like specific and you're like, oh shit. Yeah, you're you like a real, fan. real fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then for me, I get more like, oh, okay. So how, how do you feel about so and so? Yeah, yeah. But I yeah. think there's a lot of comedians that are very good entry level points. I think Chris Lee is a great example because like a lot of people, he got so big, tapped into him, and then through Theo, they found out about like Andrew Santino. Yeah, yeah and like, like it's yeah. like so like they were their entry level in, and then it got into like that and Theo Vaughn and like all these people that kind of like brought them into that world and now all of a sudden they're like a huge fan of somebody who might not yeah, be super it, it's, crazy it's weird because you, you think about you want to like relate it to music but music is so much bigger than stand like you want to be like okay uh there's a good band that you right. could listen to and then that band that drummer went to this band so you get into that band that's sort of like an entry level thing into like you know that genre of music but like to think about the difference between the amount of music there is and the amount of stand up like stand up is such like an indie small like it really we think is. it's huge yeah, yeah but it's yeah. not mm-mm just like the, the amount of people who do stand up is like, I mean, how many people do you think do stand up that like actually make a living off doing stand up in the world? I mean, 10,000 at the fucking most. And that's probably too much. It's pretty crazy. It's, yeah. it's crazy. It's insane yeah. to think about that. Um, what was I going to fucking say? Oh, dude, we were, we, yeah. Okay. So guys, there are, you guys have written in a trillion, billion, kabillion uh, sock talks and secret socks, and we are getting very, very piled up. So what we're going to do on this episode, the tail end of this, is try to get into as many as possible um, to, you know, to answer your sock talks and to, you know, talk about your secret socks. So with that being said, a Gabriel, Gaby baby, Gabriel. the sexiest producer there is in podcast land, baby, hit it to us. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Screen bing, bing, uh, Would you say bing, that we have? Bing, 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 bing. Somebody needs to put, what was the rapper, dude? AR645? AR, yeah, something like that. So many letters. Uh, that's his, uh, that's, that's not, just that's his name? That's not his social security number? No, that's, okay. 
text me a DUI checkpoint. They're like, spell this rapper's name. The guy's like, hey, uh, uh, pfft, oh, you're going to jail, buddy. <laughs> they need to put him over a crazy frog beat. Swing, bing, 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 over bing, 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 That'd be bing, fire. Bing, 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 bing. Someone do that, please. Bing, bing, please, somebody. I, I don't know how to do this. Uh, okay, cool. within. We've got a question here from Man, Man Dude Butterfield. Uh, is it. <laughs> I trust it. Is it normal not to sweat when I masturbate? Is it normal not to sweat during masturbation? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fine. Yeah, who? Do, do you sweat? Have you ever? I don't. I mean, I mean, you might get up from your office chair and see an outline of the booty prints. Yeah, when I, I well, you know what, when I lived in New York and it was a little, uh, little humid, I would, I would get to sweat. It's tense, you know. Yeah, tense. Well, I'm not ever, jerking off on the subway. We ever like grab a muffin out of like a. Uh, I can't Starbucks wait to bag, see the, where this is going to go. A muffin out of a Starbucks bag and the top's a little moist. And you're like, oh, yeah. What's that? I think I'm. I don't, you know what's a better one? The bread off a Chick fil A sandwich out of that little tin foil conveyor belt bag they got. It's okay. a little moist in there. I understand. That's oh, a good, good, that, oh, that's what you're saying. Like, that the, amount the of sweat humidity. level. Yeah, that. Like, where you're mm. like a little. Like, if you graze against like a, like a post it note on the wall, that might stick to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, when I lived in fucking New York, it was like even if you had AC on, it was still just like humid or whatever. So I'd be like jerking Did off. You and have it... a ceiling on? Huh? The what? AC on? Oh, I think you said a ceiling. It was like <laughs> this guy doesn't know what a ceiling fan is. <laughs> yeah, mothers just don't have ceilings in in New York. No, I think it's so funny for Take someone. Take your to... shit off. I think it's so funny to... <laughs> for someone to think a ceiling fan's called the ceiling. I turn the ceiling on. No, the ceiling fan, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ceiling, turn on. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> all right all right next question comes from uh spaniel dot did we answer that question yeah you don't need yeah. it <laughs> yeah yeah answer i mean how much Gabe, sweat Gabe that, that's not a that's not a legit concern right he's like, like calling the doctor be like oh, my penis is dripping but not my forehead i think if you're going at it and you're super sweaty Maybe with the flashlight well yeah because that's i mean you know you put it in the fridge door and you're just fucking going down. is that really the position of choice for you the fridge door. I d- I'm curious about this too. I couldn't tell if it was a bit when he said it last time. So, so okay. Let, hear me out. <laughs> so, uh, we're all all eyes and ears. We're all ears. All right. all right. So the first time, the first day I had it, I did that because I wanted I I wanted to I wanted what to get looking at I wanted fucking to, fun, frozen fun to, smoothie mix. <laughs> in the I do it in the bit in the bit I said there's fonta in the fridge, but there's not. <clears throat> there was nothing in there. I just got off the road. There's nothing in there. I. If, there, what is there in there? What, what's what's in the fridge after you get off the road? Nothing. Yeah. What are you grabbing onto? The fucking side of the shit. Nah, the fridge. You got to hold the fridge door closed. If you don't, the thing is gonna fall down. You got a hand on there. That's it. Did you did you try to romance it a little bit? Hold a fucking cantaloupe, little tense. Hold a cantaloupe. Oh. Just, oh, some, for some tits. Something. Nah. <laughs> What'd you hold the handle door? Just fucking. Yeah. Uh. Hold it clo- I held it closed, and then I held the, I held the other side. <laughs> Look at that hand though. That's a sexy ass hand. That's like a you fucking crescent. You know, you grab the back of the neck and do right. that fucking Edgar Allan Poe ass shit. Be like, oh, fucking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you do that with like the ice machine? I read fucking poetry to this bitch. Did you put your finger in the ice cube ma- machine? <laughs> she came immediately. <laughs> You've got your dick sucked with ice cube in it. Oh goddamn it! <laughs> I was oddly interested. I was like, hold up. Hold up, yo. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Shit's amazing. This shit feel like heaven and hell. I huh? go, I go, hold up. <laughs> what, what, what you got in your mouth, bitch? It's cold. Spit it's it cold. Out. It's cold, but it's hot. How the fuck is that? Spit possible? it out. Was it a goddamn smoothie? That's a frozen blueberry. Uh, I guess I get my saying for the day. Hold up. Okay. Here's my sperm. Oh, God. Now it's a smoothie. <laughs> Pina colada. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I call it a penis colada. God damn. Here's a little t- tiny umbrella straw. Oh, I love you. Yo, if a girl sucks your dick with a with an ice cube in it, you just fall in love with her immediately. What if, if she just starts spinning around your dick? Come on, you're my wife. <laughs> How it feels that you five gum? Amazing. Yo, if you do that, your name is immediately Sheridan. I love you. <laughs> Do you get royalties for, from the Sheridan Inn? I've never... That's the only thing that comes to mind when you say Sheridan. There's nothing else. Nobody's uh, named Sheridan. Uh, nothing. 
just to fucking holiday in. Or what? It's called a ho- shared in. Shared in. Shared in. In. What a shit name. Garbage. Motel Six. We'll leave the light on. That's for. What happened with That's motel- for security reasons. What happened with Motel you Five? Fuck? Where's Motel Five? Where's Motel Seven? What happened with that? Why'd you just jump to six? I just love the ones that are like, we got HBO. <laughs> hey, valid point. You also got HPV up in that bitch. Oh, dude, have you you walk into a fucking hotel room and you're like, I don't I think can't they change anything. I know, but it's like you get over those fears when you, one yawn in. I'm like, well, it doesn't matter because I don't think they change the blankets. There's no way they change the blankets. I they don't, don't know, know they have blankets in there. There hasn't been someone to clean up, dude. No, nothing's clean. I know that's just bring a just bring a black light. It's a nightmare, bro. If you bring a black light in there, it looks like you on shrooms, boy. It's just glowing green. Oh my god, There's loads airborne flying. At you. Just <laughs> the ceiling fan is just a giant spinning nut. Yee yee yee. What was the question? <laughs> is it normal to sweat, or is it normal not to sweat when I jerk Are we off? Still on that? Yeah. There's no, There's no way, way we're still on that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is why we can't get through fucking. St- Dude, just, if what? you if I went into a Motel Six with a green light, this jacket would look like that jacket. <laughs> That's a personal problem, actually. That has nothing to do with the hotel room. I get you. Right, you walked. That's in purely that. my nut. <laughs> yeah. That's tell you about the time we went on stage in Arizona, and uh, there was a little uh, like a, a female had worn a shirt of mine. Okay. When she was <clears throat> on top of the Yamaha 350. Is that your dick? Could be <laughs> Could be a friend <laughs> That I was borrowing huh? Hold up you, was, can, was, you can borrow dicks <laughs> Yeah I would have borrowed dicks just Years ago if like I knew Blockbuster <laughs> Just God Switch it up Mr. Potato Head <laughs> Oh yeah But then oh, But there's a okay, little what? bit of, There's a little bit of Nut juice on it <laughs> On this shirt But it was like This vintage shirt So it already looked like There was covered in nut juice right. But one spot Way more than uh, other And yeah. then I made a joke About some shirt I was wearing Cause uh, And the guy goes You got semen on your shirt <laughs> In front of a crowd Of like 300 people And I was like What? And then I just leaned into it I was like Ah And then I like Made a joke Referring back to it I was like What the fuck do I know I've come on my shirt Ah like, And everybody's like Ah But deep down I was like You got Nut <laughs> Nut on a good damn shirt. People paid to see you perform jokes with nut on you. I feel like people would pay more if they knew it was nut on. <laughs> people in the front row would be like, "Come on, do a jumping jack. I need a flake to land on my forehead." I'm trying to have a tremor, baby. Are we still it's on this question? question. So I mean, that? does that settle it then? Is it normal not to sweat when this I, guy masturbates? I can't believe we're still on this question. Uh, what next? <laughs> Dude, hold on, what? Right, yeah. We got a get the next question. Next. This comes from Spaniel.xo who says, What's your biggest fear when you're fucking? Farting. My biggest fear when I'm fucking? That's a great question. A little wow. bit of a a uh, little bit of a hold up. <sighs> yeah, but do do you honestly, like deep down, do you honestly think you're gonna fart? Like that's a, that's the biggest fear you have? <laughs> hey. Really? Hey, my stomach be acting a fool. Even during fucking? Lifetime. Really? Always. My everything just, sh- dude. You ever like been <clears throat> needing to like needing to shit or something, and then all of a sudden you start fucking, and everything just shuts down. Your body's like, we're gonna procreate. Well, Every- it's shut it's everything also down. like when your body feels like shit, and then you start drinking to go out, and your body's like, I'll just pick this back up tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so, dude. Same thing with the uh, stage shit. If you feel yeah. like oh, shit, yeah. and you're about to go on stage. Like your body's like, all right, well, dude, we're done. So many this. times where I'm about to go on stage, it's like a 45 minute set, and I have to pee so bad, mm-hmm. but you don't know when somebody's, and then you just right. get off, and you're like, I forgot I had to pee, and you don't even pee for the next couple hours. No. Um, so okay. My, God damn, my biggest fear. I mean, I don't really, I don't really have any fears during. I have a lot of fears afterwards because the second I come, I'm like, well, fuck, I just did that raw. Don't really know who this is. Don't really know who she's fucking. Definitely have chlamydia. Definitely have HPV. And maybe I pre cum a little bit. Fuck, she's pregnant. Now I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to fucking raise this kid. Like all of those fears. But during, I don't really have. A lot of fears. I'm just trying not to come. Yeah, during is a, you're not really thinking during. You just be like, yeah, uh, uh, you just aroused. Uh, right. I mean, honestly, every I think every dude's biggest fear is fucking bro is this is just trying not to nut too quick. Yeah, I mean that's 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 definitely in the soup. That's yeah. that's the main that's the main. But it's like concern. The, well, it's also like the, like the first time you hook up with a chick and you're like, 
that's always on my mind. The first time you're like first impressions yeah. of everything in this world. So, I mean, you could have you could have fuck hundred times, but if your first time is trash, she'll still be around her friends, drunk having martinis. Like oh, Michael, remember when you got all excited and your little pee 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 and you and you're it's like, like, come on, Sherry. <laughs> My aunt's right next to me. And your aunt's like, you do be coming quick, though. What How the you know? fuck? <laughs> yeah, she shared it on my Facebook wall. <laughs> aunts love Facebook. I'll tell you that much. I think my aunt's trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we are. Here's what you are. How, where, and why would you say that? Does she listen? Is this to a Patreon episode? Uh, no. Yes. <laughs> it's not. It's not. So let's. It could be for five dollars a month. You get four extra episodes. That's very true. That's a good plug. That's perfect. Um. What, uh, just don't make this a highlight and we'll be fine. Um, 100% fucking our social media guys are going to make it a highlight. Um, I don't know. There's been, I think I've said this to y'all before. There's been a couple of times she's got little, you know, drinks in her. She like starts complimenting me, but like really specific compliments. And I'm like, how do you know that? You look at my face that much? The way you spell onomatopoeia in your fourth grade spelling be turned me on. No, huh? She just be like, no way I spell that word right. <laughs> she just be like, you have a, you have a cleft chin. And I'm like, yeah. She'd be like, yeah. Only like, only like sexy guys have cleft chins. Like, I'm not shitting you. Like, shit like that. And I'm like, bitch. What are you saying? Was this recently? This was maybe not super. No, 10 years ago. Um, But it's so funny. Now she doesn't hit on me. I'm like, what happened? (laughs) Dude, I get ugly. (laughs) Come on. You're just walking around by her shirt off. You're like, has anybody seen my shirt? (laughs) Maybe it's lost my cleft chin. She's like, why, why, why are you talking like that? What do you mean? <laughs> I feel like, uh, what's the question? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. What's the question? What's your biggest fear when you're fucking? Oh, 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 oh what I was going to say? Think we oh, this. oh, I wanted to say this to you, but to the general public as well, obviously, you know what I learned in maybe the last like six months and it sounds pretty like, I mean, a very like obvious thing, but something that's so fucking important to do well the first time is literally just ask. Like, ask what she or he's into. You'll have a dialogue, and then you know up top. Because the first time you, the first time if you don't have a conversation about it, then you're just searching. You're sort of playing Mortal Kombat at the arcade. You're sort of just pressing buttons to be like, oh, does this work? Does this work? Does this work? Or you could just ask. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but sometimes <clears throat> people are too shy in their own skin. So what do you like? I, I don't know. What do you like? And then all of a sudden, you guys are just fucking bag of Skittles. And it's like, what? who... That's true. That's true. I mean, I guess like obviously both parties need to be, if need you're, to be open about it. Well, the personality. If, if you feel a personality, right, right, sometimes right. I th- generally I think that a guy will initiate it. Be like, well, I kind of like a little bit of so and so. And she's like, well, goddamn, I also like a little bit of so and so. But right. I've definitely been in a position. She's like, I don't know. That's, what do you like? And you're like, this is a fucking job interview. <laughs> right, right, right. Also, you know, it's a funny question. Sometimes like when I'm like about to come, whatever, and I'm like, I'm like, where do you want me to come? And she goes, well, where do you want to come? I'm like, don't ask me that question. <laughs> Okay, I got 0.4 seconds left. Y'all to make it. Where do you want me to? I go, I go, I go she goes, where do you want me to come? I go, bitch, you got a floor? What? Where's the nicest floor you yeah, got? There's not, because here's the thing about that question. Where do you want me to finish? Yeah. It's a rhetorical question. I want to finish in her face. I'm going to let you know that right now, okay? Well, also, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no, like, you're already 0.4 seconds. It's not like. Yeah. Let's just, let's put out an Instagram story poll and see where people want it to go. You right. are seconds away. Yeah. The shot clock is winding down. It's fourth quarter. I need Maybe to, even overtime if yeah. you're putting in that OT. Yeah. Once what do you think OT for you in bang is? Do you once you start to repeat positions? My OT is when I'm on second condom. That's Ooh, OT for me. All right. What? <laughs> Wait, so, oh, n- like nut and then No, 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 no. There's, there's moments oh, the- like, <clears throat> there's moments where like, um, I'm fucking for like, and it's just like, it's sort of, you get in this space where you sort of stop feeling and you're like, it doesn't even matter what position. I'm not even like, I'm, I'm like, my dick has sort of gotten used to the feeling of fucking. So I'm just right. like, I'm not going to come. So then that's when, that's when, if I hit that mode, then I'll take it off and like get head or what just to switch the, the sensation up so right. i can like want to fuck again yeah, so damn. then and then second kind of that's when i'm like that's what i'm like oh this is this is ot for me because at that point you i'm sweating i'm trying to turn the ceiling on it's this fucking whole thing sweating uh yeah <laughs> right yeah that's ot that's that's definitely mine is usually when the when the first song goes to the second song i go all right well that's 
That's a new, new level here, huh? After three and a half minutes. <laughs> it's an interlude, but. Yeah, hold up. I always fuck the interludes. They'd and be I, a minute 37 every time. And I always start with a little pump song. But that's what I'm <laughs> Why is every interlude a minute 37 seconds? Let me, dude, there's some interludes that are like, that are fire. And I'm like, hold on. And then they cut. Then you're like, yeah. the fuck? The fuck? And then it's like, I'm like, yo, that's the best beat on this whole fucking album. Yeah. Rap on that, please. Also, I hate. When I mean, this was more common probably like 10, 15 years ago when rappers would have like sketches and like a storyline. Get it. it out of here. Tory Lanez is one of my favorite rappers. I think he's like an amazing artist, but he has like, you put that shit on shuffle and he's just like, yeah, so where we were on the street. I'm like, you just sing. <clears throat> what? Why yeah. are you talking to us? You shot up the block Bro, with what? A... Octaves? The yeah. fuck you shooting microphones out of a cannon? You ever hear? You Bro's ever... five foot seven. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you shooting is your height, dog. Get a fucking, get some converse on. Tory Lanez hit you. He's like, you shot me in the leg. Yeah, I thought I was a hit. <laughs> no, it's just so funny. Especially with, like SZA has that too on her album. Her album is like one of the best albums out. But it's just, it's just like her grandma starts talking. And you're like, man, what happened to being the sexy in bed? And we just playing this shit. Bro, you you ever heard that Erica Badu bet I have? It's literally, the, it's it's about that. What, you never heard it? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, I talk about how I went to a uh, Erica Badu concert and she like, she sang for five percent of the concert, and she gave a backstory for all of her songs a lot for ninety-five percent of the concert. And I do this whole fucking act out of like her doing it, <clears throat> but I'm like, I'm like, no one paid to listen to you talk. Zero people paid for talking. No one was like, oh, I can't wait to go to the Erica Badu concert to hear her have a preamble. Nobody, no, sing. <clears throat> What's your take on artists that do like quote unquote jokes between songs? Hate it. Shut up. Hate it. Shut up. No one. The, the joke. The joke suck. Oh, my guitar. It's just, shut up. Shut up. Just play a song. Have silence. Play another song. No one. You suck at talking. That's why you're singing. If you were good at talking, you wouldn't be a singer. What my, the funniest thing for me is rappers that try to relate songs. Uh, I, I, I think it's, I want to make this into a video. Rappers yeah. always try to relate like a story into a song. They'd be like, hey, yo, this next song. Y'all ever been broken up with? But like that bitch cheated on you. And then, and then you had to like get some money. This next song is called Robbed a Bank. <laughs> what did the girl cheating on you have to do with anything? You How just need to get a job. How much money you need? You need to rob a Wells Fargo? <laughs> you haven't been short $4.13 since so you see a lemonade stand and you robbed the lemonade stand, but then you felt bad. So you return the money, then you get a job at Long John Silver's. This next song is called Pineapples. And you're like, uh, I got a lot of questions. And the crowd's just like, yeah just oh one, one dude in the back i know exactly what you mean yeah but this guy's so relatable but it, dude it's just like honestly you can say anything and the crowd goes insane like you could be like is anybody here depressed they're like yeah this next song is called hot boys in the jacuzzi and they're like yeah i love it all you gotta do is say stop all you gotta do a rap so uh, concert is just stop saying words and then they just fucking applaud you just say a thing stop and the people applaud no one likes silence no one likes yeah. silence. You ever like in, in like a stand up bit? Oh, I, I saw what happened to you before mm -hmm. when you were like in between bits and someone yelled out some shit and you're like, let's just, it's okay. It's fine. You know what I mean? Like, silence. I almost is, like people, dishing it off like it doesn't matter. Like, certain no. And then just keep going back. <laughs> it's just funny because like they're the one person in the crowd that thinks they're going to change or upgrade the show by yelling. That's the biggest thing people will say after getting kicked out because they're heckling. They're like, I, I was just trying to improve the show. What does it say Trevor Wallace and Heckler? Like Trevor Wallace and Friends on the uh -huh. show. Trevor Wallace and Blake and Rose C. No. I Me hate dog. when someone tries to heckle. You shut them down in like a funny way for like, you know, a minute or two, whatever. And obviously people like a, people love when you shut down a heckler. And then after they go, Tuh, really did it, huh? Helped you. I didn't want to do this, sir. Oh. I didn't want to do it. You yeah. think you helped me? Yeah. You didn't help me. Or oftentimes, the people that come up to you after the show, I'm like, uh, I, was a, I was the dude you heckled. Great. Well, I hate you. So, <laughs> do you have any other people? Right. That and then I'm just like, word. It's also like, you don't need to say that. You just walk up, be like, what's up, man? Because I don't know. But I can't see shit. Because they think that's like a, they think it's it a cool thing. Show, Yo, yeah. I'm the one who yelled out. Yeah. All right. Well, where's my gun? I'm going to shoot you in the face. You ever, you ever, uh, I for sure. Uh, you ever try to say something back to a heckler that like you is like just overly mean? Yeah. And then you're like, but the crowd just doesn't hit. Uh huh. And you're like, mentally well, you're like, really? Nobody's on board for that? No one. No the one. guy everybody hated, I just threw a heater, a haymaker. Mm -hmm. I would save this one for a fucking rainy day with a tornado. And it just, 
Yeah, you're like, and that's why you're a Nazi. And everyone's like, what? It's like, this is, <laughs> this is pretty mean. That guy's bald and he's blind. blind. What, what? Good Lord, Trevor. What is Holy crap. And, you're, and then, well, it's hard to like go back to that. And you're like, well, all right. Well, so here's the thing about nothing too quick. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's, it's so hard to oh, fucking God. reset. Yeah, yeah. We are. Uh, it's so funny when we try to do these mailbag things. We never get to enough things. Let's let's go again. Uh, Gabe, Gabe, cut us off. Need be okay. Uh, next question comes from Ivan Canfield, who says, "Matched Canfield, uh, Canfield yeah, matched with a girl Canfield. on Tinder, and she told me my haircut is whack. It's <laughs> definitely not. Do I fight her?" Well, I mean, don't fight her. <laughs> let's just start. Got a there. question? <clears throat> How badly do you want to go to jail? Um, no, I think she's doing like that nagging thing. Remember the? 100%. I was thinking about this episode earlier today when we had. Uh, uh, Chad Kroger uh, from Chad Goes Deep yeah. when we were talking about negging and then like guys would be like what's up idiot yeah yeah I mean if your hair doesn't look stupid my, she's just fucking with you she's trying to get a rise out of you that's why I, I think you say some cute but little meaningful back you know yeah you it's it's gotta be flirtatious but also in, in the realm of mean as well if, yeah. to come back what would you say to that if someone goes I think your hair looks stupid yeah but at least I have hair you got cancer bitch I don't know <laughs> That makes two people going to jail now, huh? I don't know what I'd say. It, it, I mean, I would have to. I would. I need a picture of her to come back. I'd yeah, that's true. Of like whatever, but but if she a goddamn babe, come on now, then be like, yeah, you right. <laughs> Take me to get a haircut and then some frozen yogurt after. I love you. Want to go to Denny's? Also, it really it is a lot of to do with like context too, right? Because sometimes girls try to do it with me like over like Bumble, whatever, and it's like message two, and I'm like, it's too early for this. I don't, what, now, now we're like r- ribbing on each other right now. It's right. too. It's well. Do you have like comedian in your bio or pictures of you doing stand up? I do. That's and that's my fault. Yeah. Well, but I think they're just like, well, time to turn the funny on. And or- that's the worst. <laughs> if you ever have inclination in your brain to be like, time to turn the funny on, don't <laughs> turn it off because there's no on. <laughs> you do this with your fingers, and your life is exactly the same. Tell me a joke. Okay. I mean, dude, tell me a fucking joke. Tell me. A, first of all, you're starting the sentence with tell me, which is crazy, yeah. which is insane. Can you imagine walking up to like, like a major and be like, tell me where the bathroom is. Would you ever do that? If I was drunk. <laughs> Fuck, really? Nah. That tell me shit kills me. And then it's, it's like, it's, tell me a just, joke. Where do you go from that? Fight them. Because if it's. Let's say you gave in and you told a joke. It's not going to be funny over text. It's no. going to be a knock knock joke that everyone's yeah. heard. You can't do a fucking elaborate ass bit. Like imagine any of your bits. Oh my, there. that's so funny. Right? To just oh my god, that's but that's funny. To I'll literally just go in a whole full, six and then like fucking. after a paragraph, put like with asterisks, applause break, and then go yeah. on. <laughs> Crowd goes wild. Titties out. Um, I usually, I usually, honestly, like I usually go knock knock knock. This is not the context for jokes. Like that's pretty my my usual response, or I just don't respond because I'm infuriated. <laughs> All right, next just, question. Just yeah. send him a show flyer. <laughs> See me tonight. There's been a couple where I just sent him my Instagram handle, which is like if you here's some jokes and click. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy. If you like them, hit me back. Smart. Yeah. Motherfucker got portfolios. <clears throat> All right, we got an important one here. This comes from Richard Beltran, who wants to know how do I be good at the game when the game keeps changing. Damn. What the fuck kind of Neil deGrasse Tyson question was that? That's not good. How do I be good at the game and the game keeps like spin up, spin, spin, spin game? If the game keeps changing. I don't I know what like game he just, he's talking about. I feel about. like he just means like in general. I feel like that's kind of like a deep ass question. How are you going to, what is it again? How do you be good? How be, do you be good be at the, good at the game, game when the game keeps changing? Think one step ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. So by the time you ahead, they meet and you already on the next one. Which is oh. deep, but how do you do that? Also, everyone wants to play the same game. Why don't you play your own game? Play your own game. Play your uh, own game. Play your own. I, I think, uh, yeah, what game works for you? That's what I'm saying. Everyone's playing Mortal Kombat. You could play Earthworm Jim. If you're playing Monopoly, just be the bank and then steal the money. Wells Fargo. Mm. Or rob everybody you're playing the game with. <laughs> That's true. At gunpoint. <laughs> What's your favorite Monopoly character to be? <laughs> it's so stupid. Probably the thimble. That's stupid as fuck. I hate you. <laughs> that of a horse. 
The horse? There's a horse? Uh, maybe. Yeah, there's a dog. I, I was, always, I always <laughs> was the dog. And yeah. when I would move, I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you play it alone. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just like a thing because I put it on my pinky and be like, bitch. <laughs> A pinky ring, pinky ring. Um, all right, this next one cool. Uh, Fancy McCransky says, Have you guys ever heard about spectrophilia? Would you be into well, it or not? It ends with Elia, so I think it's fucking. yeah, it's also a spectrum cable, maybe. Uh, it's a sexual attraction to ghosts. <laughs> well, I got that. <laughs> what I mean, fucking what. Bro, people are attracted to anything. People are attracted to cardboard tubes. But a cardboard tube makes more sense to me. Because you know you why? Because you can see it. Well, How part are of, you attracted to a fucking ghost? Part dreams. of it says it's it's seeing them in the reflection of a mirror. Like so, like you're. That's like, just look, a dirty ass mirror. Get some Windex, bitch. <laughs> that's just him. He look. He goes, "Oh, I'm a ghost. I'm no. This is a ghost." So he's hold on, hold on. So this person, he's saying, oh, how do we feel about it? Yeah. Okay, so that means he's into it. Okay, sick. So I would love to hit him up. How do we feel about it? I mean, what if I was like, yo, Trevor, man, this is, this is odd, man. My new girlfriend's a ghost. Coming from anybody else, I'd be a little skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from this fellow over here, I'd be like, that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> Better than your last girlfriend. Hey, you know what? I see it. Um, how do you fuck? I just, I'm like, you ever watch... That show on TLC, My Strange... No, what is it? My Strange Addiction? That's it. There's that a dude a show, who's like yeah. married to like his car and it's like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but do you... Are you actually sexually attracted to your car? Are you sexually attracted to ghosts? I think I think all of the, that... Or are TLC you just trying to get a fucking rise at your history teacher? Like, what's going on? Here? I think all that shit's fake, to be honest, man. Yeah. I think everyone's like, oh, I'm addicted to eating part cheesy boards. It's like, yeah, but, or a producer told you they give you $5,000 if you are okay with doing this. Yeah. Like, but, but the ghost shit's real. I remember I saw some talk show where, the, where there was a woman who's like a clairvoyant or whatever, who said that like, she's marrying, she's engaged to a ghost. Like the ghost got on one knee and fucking proposed to her. And to that, I say, oh, you're insane. Yeah. You're, you don't see ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? Not really. No. Gabe, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, not really, no. Really? So I, I like, do I do. You? Yes. But you live alone. Yeah. That's why. Because I see ghosts? No, because you be getting in your head at night. Shit be creaking around, but who'd that be? <laughs> Is that the semen on my tile creasing up? Daddy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, what, do you, have you encountered them in your past? What, what, no. what makes you the think that way, sir? No, I just like, I... I I don't know, man. I feel like we're there's no way that there's this many people on this earth and like other entities don't exist. Like it's oh, it's, it's oh, just yeah. us. Like it, the the world is is generated by a tremendous amount of energy. And like, do you guys believe in like energy? Do you guys believe in like if you the energy you give out is the energy you're gonna receive and like all the all that type of like sort of like yeah. the secret type stuff? A little bit. Right. So like you you guys do believe in like the transference of energy. So you wouldn't believe that there's like that that when you die, like there's, that there's a specific energy, and that that energy might not be able to go where it needs to go, and then it's sort of like so that yeah, that kind of stuff I do. But I just, but like, just in like, terms of like seeing a real yeah, ghost, like, like in terms of like no one's ever gotten like real proof of one that I've seen, yeah. so it's like hard to like really believe it. Yeah, the shit where it's like who knocked over the candle, you know, like that type shit. Like who, who hears of a night who did knock over the candle? My cat, whiskers. Oh, what that makes sense? <laughs> it's a ghost cat. <laughs> that's, a, that's a ghost right there. That's your cat in the goddamn pillowcase running around. <laughs> well, goddamn. Well, no. Go Hilarious visual. Yeah. Um, um, I, I do, though. I, I do believe in ghosts. There are. I think I've said this before. I think I've said everything on this fucking podcast, but whatever. There, th you guys are going to make fun of me. I don't give a fuck. Like, there are times where, like, I, I can walk into a room and I, like, believe that something, like, n really bad has happened in that room. Like, I, I can, like, I, I feel it. Do you have proof that a place, like, have you ever been like fact checked? Like you walk in around like, oh yeah, 14 people. No, no. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe I should, but there was, there's been a number of times where like, it happens a lot in bathrooms and also happens if I'm like just walking by like a house, like I'll just be walking by a house, like, you know, going over bits, or whatever. And like, it'll like sort of hit me and I'll stop and I'll, I'm like, oh, something like really something really bad happened in that house. Do you ever Google it? And be like, No, I should though. 
I, uh, that that's actually I mean I'll I'll Google it and and and, and uh, get, bring back the info. Do you have like houses mapped out? You're like that house for sure. <laughs> no, but I but I know there's two houses in my neighborhood that I feel like that every time I walk by it. Really? So I could Google those two houses. Yeah, it's like by law you have to you have to like report it, right? It's like Megan's lot, but for ghosts. <laughs> Do you remember Casper's finding out in like law. I remember in like sixth grade when I found out about Megan's Law and you can check like all the pedophiles near you. Mm-hmm. I was at my friend's house, like let's go on it, and it was like ding 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 ding. Oh, I've never done that. That shit, I can't. I can't. Have you? Have you do that for this neighborhood? Oh, it's probably. I mean, all of our neighborhoods probably fucking bananas. We li- we all live in L.A. It's, yeah. I mean, this is like a this is like a touch. Well, the crazy hate, part hate. is is like every like building you know this like has like you know if there's a big building of like thirty floors. Mm-hmm. That whole shit might just be one red dot, but that red dot represents bring 45 motherfuckers. God damn. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm going to check that shit out right now when I get home. Yeah. Um. All right. On the paranormal side, we got a question from Ethan Gottlieb, who says, my friends and I were talking about what sound a ghost would make when coming. What do you guys think? Is, are they, do they know each other, these two questions? Uh, this is Gilbert Gottfried, you said? I don't, yeah, I don't think they know each other. That's what noises do they make when they come? Yeah, what when, when noise would a ghost make? <laughs> it's kind of like a crying ghost. Mm-hmm. It's upset. I, I don't know what noise they make, but I feel like the semen come out kind of like, uh, like waves, kind of like how like dolphins swim. Oh, that's like a nice visual. I like that. Yeah, yeah I do. Started off a little grim, but dude, that's what I'm gonna tell Alexa to do. Hey Alexa, play dolphin swim noises. I'm, I'm sure it was like, pew, pew. that's nice. Dolphins rape. Anyway, everyone knows that, right? <laughs> yeah, we talked about wild. it. They're Judging animals. by its cover, bro. They out here. They straight on their gang shit. You know, um, what I'm, I'm gonna say one thing, and we can get up to the next question. You know how people goes, oh man, fucking, they're animals. That dude's an animal. Whatever. Isn't it funny that we are animals? Like we are animals. Like, I think we for, we're like no, we're people. No, nah, we're so, animals, bro. So are animals humans? No. Well, right. It ain't oh. a two sided street, huh? What so buffalo he, nickels on top of that? <laughs> you telling me my octopus neighbor ain't really my octopus neighbor? I got that's a ghost octopus. <laughs> uh, Next, that's a tumbleweed right. in your goddamn fountain. Yeah, we got a question. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck are tumbleweeds? <laughs> Where do those kick it's up a, out of? It's, dude, it's ghost semen, and it just collects. It looks kind of fun, though. Like, if I was one of the sticks in that, I'd be like, hell yeah! Yeah, I would like to get in the middle of that and just fucking tumble around. You yeah, know? You imagine being like a hamster, a little rodent, and get picked up one of those. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like a giant gerbil ball. Isn't it funny that tumbleweeds always, like, represent, like, oh, there's no water. I no. thought it was representing, like, the South. Like, all that whistle, like, <laughs> What are they supposed to represent? Like loneliness or some shit? Yeah, I think it's just that like uh, nothing there. There's yeah, the farming, the dust bowl, right? Like farming sucks now. There's no more cowboys. Everyone how moved they, to cities. Yeah, but how do they link up? How do you become a cowboy? <laughs> just you need a, to become a cowboy. You just have a gun and like a horse. You need a horse to be a cowboy. Nah, you just have to go to stagecoach and get some cowboy boots. But dude, I mean, you talk to a real cowboy, they'll be like, stagecoach. That's that pussy shit. Mm-hmm. That's a ghost. That's that pussy ghost, shit. Bro. No, it's funny. Like, the, the, there's cowboys and they're goddamn cowboys. That's true. Like, even when we did the Oklahoma City shows, I had a picture uh, posted of me like riding a horse Photoshop, and somebody's like, "That's that pussy shit." You want a real cowboy <laughs> drive an hour east? And you're like, "What? what? I'm, why would I drive? No, where's east, sir? <laughs> Point. No one knows." Oh, uh, anyways, next. All question. right, let's, All right let's this comes from uh, Briglia. Mike uh, Briglia? Mike Briglia. Uh, no. Seriously? No, it's a girl, oh. a girl named Brig- Briglia, probably. Well, I'm going to be honest, that's a really hot name. So what is it, Briglia? Yeah, her. Yeah, Instagram handle, Briglia. I'm going to be honest with you right now. She bad. Dude. I don't know. But Briglia, you met a girl. She's like, hi, I'm Briglia. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, you're going to look it up, aren't you? No, I get a missed call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the, the question I'll is. I'll bet you $50 Briglia is hot as fuck. You married the girl of your dreams. She asks you to take her last name. What do you do? Wow. Uh, Wait, no. You married the girl of your dreams. She asks you to take her last name. Mm-hmm. The only reason I'm saying no is because like you're like our names are like our brand. So like I'm not gonna change my fucking name. Yeah. What's that Instagram name gonna be? Right. It can't be Blau Comedy more unless her last name's Blau Stone or some dumb shit. 
Um, yeah, I'm not going to, I mean, let's, let, okay, let's do this. Let's, we don't work. We, we're not entertainers anymore. We're fucking, we we're oh, lawyers. Yeah, bro, if I'm a, yeah, I don't care. All right. Well, you don't care? If I'm a lawyer, I'm fucking out. Girl of my dreams? Dreams. And she's like, you need to change your name. It's, it's not Wallace anymore. It's, you know, it's Samsonite. Trevor Samsonite is hard. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, bro. Michael Samsonite sucks. <laughs> I can walk into any Stanford class and be like, shut the fuck up. And they're like, it's Samsonite. And then I just kick over a globe. Why do classrooms still have globes? No one uses them. Do you even know how to use them? Do they spin? What's the fucking point? What is the point What's of a them? globe made out of? <laughs> it's just air inside. Okay. Maybe Tumbleweed? It's, maybe it's like a, a, a Wonder Ball. Remember those chocolate Wonder Balls? They got like little oh, fuck. candies in it. Yeah. What's the, but the teachers always have a globe and it's just posted up. It's like, not once. Maybe once before they go into lecture, they're like, well, class, you, you just, why'd you lick your fingers before that, Miss Gravelstone? You trying to be a freak bitch right now? <laughs> Mrs. Gravelstone. You never had Miss Gravelstone? We're different people. All right. Isn't it crazy when you hear another teacher's last name? You're like, that's a good last name. Gravelstone's fucking great. It's great. That's a it's a novel right there. I had Mrs. Ringle. I thought that was <laughs> God. Gravelstone's I mean, hard though. Um, but yeah, you spin the globe. What the fuck? That's always what bad guys do. They're like, I'm gonna have a bomb. And you go, where are you gonna put it? Dr. Evil? Or they goes, throw a Poom. dart at a giant map on the wall. <laughs> Yeah, dude. They're not doing the first try. They're like, where are we going? Uh, the middle of the Pacific. And they, they put it, they go, I don't have a plane ticket there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if my miles cover that. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> <That's a funny laughs> oh my God. Uh, what? Oh, uh, yeah. So if we weren't entertainers, I would definitely take the last name. I have no problem yeah. with that. That was an entertainer, you know. Yeah. Unless they had a dope last name and it was like a famous last name. Like if her last name Sandler, boom. <laughs> but what if her last name was like, Kick off, ring guy. You're like, would you take that? She's probably bad. She's foreign. Bad. Man, <laughs> what is it about goddamn bitches with fucking accents? You go, well, uh, come here. Her last name is Svedka. I'm like, isn't that how close? She's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, all right. I want to marry Rich. I never thought I did. Fuck. I want to yeah. marry Triscuits. <laughs> Triscuits? Who? Where's Michelle Triscuit at? Wyoming. 100%. <laughs> Drive, driving hour east, Oklahoma. She's on a fucking horse made of Triscuits. Next question, please. Yeah, uh, all right. This is uh, this is gonna be a secret sock. Healthy ass bitch. <laughs> you ever give a dog a carrot? It's like I don't want this shit. Horse would be like, yeah, let me get a hit of that. Horse, eat a pudding, bitch. Why you only like? You make me feel bad about myself. You're just like, let me get a, a horse at a restaurant. Let me get a a pound of the hay, a couple of carrots, and uh, let me get some flies. Throw some flies on that bitch. Hey, well, you get a pail. I'm a shit for sure. <laughs> you ever seen a horse shit? Bro, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> oh my God. They're massive. Oh, my God. They have great digestive systems. It looks like someone turned on a hose. It's illegal for a horse to have diarrhea. It's literally always a solid. <laughs> because they eat so many carrots and hay. It's Look, a blammy. It comes out, and it'll fill up a Jansport. No problem. Bro, if that landed on a, uh, a small toddler, it Dead. would sprain an ankle. It would be dead. It would be the kid would be dead. Probably with like a weighted dodgeball. Yeah, it's literally the same thing as like when you when you. Never mind. I've been there. I was about to give a Patreon clue away, and I. Uh, Uh, All right, let's do a secret talk. Yeah. Do it. Uh, All right, anonymous listener says, uh, "I once jerked off outside at a beach ten minutes before spreading my dead dog's ashes." Whoa. (laughs) Oh God. See, everybody copes with death differently. You, sir, may be on the front line for this one. The the way the story was going up front, I was like, I could jerk on off at the beach. Yeah, why what not? What a beautiful moment. Less sand if you're trying to bang on the beach. Uh, Were you standing up? <laughs> Were you doing it, doggy? All right. That's too okay. That's too, uh, okay. Okay. Jerking off doggy style is very funny. <laughs> That's, that's talent because you got one hand. Uh, dude, I okay. don't know whether to what feel bad. What kind of dog is it? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I want to know. I don't know who to feel bad for in this situation. The, mm, Were you the, holding the ashes? Did you come in the ashes? What, what, I got so many questions. In my head, he's looking off just at the forever ending water with the sun setting. And he's just letting a load go. And then he's letting his dog go. Which is beautiful. It really but is. I got a question. How come you just couldn't wait till after? Uh, well, how did you get hard thinking about... a? Dog that's passed away. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Fuck. Please don't. 
Please don't be honest. <laughs> we need a button that just says no. <laughs> no, we'll be Today's honest, not man. The day. I think, and, and I think a lot of people will agree, in any stressful emotional situation, a lot of times you go to, oh, I don't want to think about it, so let me jerk off. Oh, yeah, I get so hard at funerals. I can totally relate to that. Oh, Trevor says, dripping with sarcasm. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying you drove to the beach. You're not listening to happy music. You're not listening to jerk off music. It's that when I see you again. Is this still the same Crazy Frog episode? Yeah. Wow. No, it's not. You're not yeah. driving to the beach listening to Crazy Frog dick out being like, well, I understand the point, but I can't I like. remember you. You see other dogs running by. You will remember me. Oh my goddamn lotion at. Yes, please. That's what I'm saying. Like if if I don't know. I could see ashes sitting in sorrow and being like, well, time to get back to my normal life. Right. But before or before I, okay. I think he did it up front because if the cops came, he's like, I'm sad of my dog. And he still had the proof right there. Damn. That'll get you out of felony. Where where do dogs' ashes go? Like in an urn or like in a fucking Ziploc baggie? Jesus. Well, I mean, where do they go? Depends on the dog. What do you mean? Is it a mutt? No, it's a Ziploc. Well, that's fucked Pure up. Purebred golden retriever? Well, that's fucked up. In a goddamn Bitcoin castle. <laughs> Dude, no, I mean, hold I don't on. Know. That's a sad My thought. dog is a mutt, and that motherfucker's going, I can't even think about it. I can't even think about it. That, can you get hard? No. That's what I'm saying. That's when it gets weird. Listen, we don't want to shame this man. He was in a moment he of fucking did sorrow. He knows what he did was wrong. He wrote in anonymously. That's true. That's right. This wasn't a sock talk. This is a Oh, that's sock. true. Well, he just seemed to get it he off his chest. He wasn't like, yo, would you ever... Right. Just I'm like he had to get his semen anything. off his chest. Would you guys have a question? Would you think it... Would you wear a, a necklace with a little pendant with your dog's ashes in it? Fuck no. I wouldn't do any ashes on him. Nothing. That's... I, no. Right. Absolutely not. I see people wear their, the dog's dog tags, which I think is... Which I still think is weird. I think the the whole thing about death for me is like you grieve and grieve and grieve and then move on. How do you move on if you're walking around with your dog's ashes around your neck? You're a constant reminder of your dog. You... At some point, you have to let it go. Do you know what I mean? You're walking around with fucking dog tags. You're like, oh man, today's a good dog. Oh fucking... Oh yeah. my god. It's like... What? Let, you know, sometimes you got to jerk off the beach. I like this Maybe guy. that was... <laughs> my friend. <laughs> well, no surprise there. Uh, no, I mean, however you grieve, you grieve. You know, maybe that was his final moment of just being like... Dude, and, may, and maybe he used to jerk off with his dog all the time. And he was, and he was like, you know what? Let's do it one more time, Fido. Dogs do be watching you bang, though. You ever seen a dog watch you bang? Yo. It's weird. Their yeah. eyes are like, what am I seeing? Is this what I look like? <laughs> my, my dog... Uh, at the beginning, used to watch me jerk off. And then she got used to it, and then she's like, all right, well, just let me know when you're done. <laughs> I'm going to see myself out. Opens door, closes it. You hear the, the toaster oven starting? You're making a mother like a mini pizza? Yeah, I know. How did you learn how to do a toaster strudel? <laughs> uh, maybe it was like his final LeBron James moment, and then he just let everything go. She's just like, scruffy. <laughs> I will remember. And then Sarah McLaughlin walks into the scene. Are you caught at the beach jerking off? How did she one. know? I will Call 1-800, you going to jail. 1-800, I hope it was a private beach that nobody was on. I, I hope it was packed out 2 p.m. Santa Monica. <laughs> like, All the kids are like, what, mommy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did this in the coast. <laughs> Uh, where am I? Coast of Carolina. Um, All right, man. That's that's. Oh my God, I have a headache. This that's it, guys. Listen, man. Thank you so much for hurts. watching and listening. This has been an insane fucking episode. Uh, goddamn, uh, y'all are dope. And I say this every motherfucking time, but go on iTunes, rate and review and subscribe to us. It really helps us out. Listen, guys, you are dope. If you want four extra episodes a month, go on Patreon and subscribe. Y'all, peace. Love you. Thanks. Goodbye. Dogs, stay safe. Wash your damn titties, hands.